Coming up on today's episode, is 2020 the best year for Max Verstappen to win the World Championship with Red Bull Racing? Three of Europe's most popular tracks are renewed for one more year after the COVID-19 pandemic, and Daniel Ricciardo has one more option on the table to consider if McLaren does not work in 21. Could the Honey Badger be moving somewhere special for the 2022 season? All this and more and the biggest stories in Formula 1 on this episode of F1 24-7 News. <laughs> Since 2015, Max Verstappen has held the Dutch Formula 1 fans in awe of what he can do. When he moved to Red Bull Racing in 2016, the conversation shifted from not if, but when, is he going to win the World Championship? And after he won his first race at the Spanish Grand Prix in Barcelona, becoming the youngest race winner at 18 and a half years old in 2016, the conversation really took a step up. Max has been holding the Dutch fans for a very long time and their hope of winning the World Championship. The only other Dutch driver in Formula 1 to race alongside Max in this decade was Guido van der Gaard with Caterham in 2013. He worked alongside Max Verstappen, Jos and Ziggo Sport for the Dutch media complex in Formula 1. He believes that Max Verstappen will be world champion this year and also that this is going to be the best year for Max to actually win the world championship in Formula 1 with Red Bull Racing. Now conventionally it's been a Mercedes win but this has been a normal conventional season. We start in Australia, we finish in Abu Dhabi, we start in March, we finish in December. This is the 70th year of Formula 1 and everything has played out very, very, very differently. It's quirky, it's different, nobody knows what is going on. And really, it is kind of a reset for a lot of the teams. We don't know where they're going to be. We have a general idea of what's going to happen on the grid, but again, a lot of things are shaken. It's definitely shook up more than if we just went from one normal season to another normal season. Red Bull Racing are known as a bit of a sprint team and Max Verstappen really comes out of the blocks really, really fast. Last year was a successful year, becoming best of the rest for the first few races when Mercedes were dominating and having consecutive 1-2 finishes. An amazing ring in Austria at the Red Bull ring at the home of the Red Bull factory showed that this was a good track and a good experience for Max Verstappen. He also won the 2018 campaign showing that Austria in the Red Bull ring is a good track for the Red Bull cars. Hence, that's why it's called Red Bull Ring. It is a Red Bull track. He also went to an incredible win at the German Grand Prix in Hockenheim. And even after having a win in Interlagos, the first part of the season showed that Red Bull Racing are stronger in the first part of the season and a bit of a sprint team with Max going all guns blazing at the start of the year. Even though Ross Brown has promised for 18 rounds of the 2020 season, it looks like a shorter season will be going ahead. Kicking off with a double round in Spielberg at the Red Bull Ring, Again, as I've just said, a great track for Max Verstappen. It looks like the best way for Max to get double wins and start the season as he wants to go on. Now again, this is not of course guaranteed, but going off 2018 and 2019, two amazing races at the Red Bull Ring. This is definitely looking good and promising for the Dutchman as it goes into the first round and the second round, both at the same track in Spielberg and the Red Bull Ring. The most points anyone could leave with is 52 points, and to help them in the World Championship of 2020, even with 18 rounds, 52 points off the back at the same circuit is absolutely incredible. Guido van der Gaard and the Dutch media believe that so. Max already had Dutch fans behind him, but now Guido van der Gaard, working alongside some of the members at Ziggo Sport, believe that this is the best track and the best opportunity for him to do that. Guido van der Gaard told Jenny Cow, the worker at gpbog.com, For the future, I also have absolute hope he can become our first Dutch world champion. I definitely think this is possible at Red Bull. So this year he has a real chance, but Lewis Hamilton is still there. He is his biggest threat, the biggest experience. They're the two rivals for this championship, and he already knows how to win the world championship. Now this is of course going off Max Verstappen's experience, as he raced with Guido van der Gaard in Formula 3, and lesser formulas and karting championships growing up in the Netherlands. This is a great chance for not just Max, but Alex and the whole team of Red Bull to get back onto winning ways. It's definitely going to be exciting starting in Austria. And if anything is like 2018 and 19, respectively, it should be a good start for the Austria team. Let us know in the comment section below what do you think about Red Bull Racing and Max. Do you think this, this is the best chance for him to win the World Championship this year? We have discussed this before on our channel. It'd be good to get you guys' opinions on this. Also, let us know if you are from the Netherlands or not, and what do you make of Max this year? 
There's been a lot of talk about Max winning the World Championship in the future. He is definitely a multiple world champion. But two talks, is Red Bull the best team for him to do it at? And will it be done this year? Guido and Ziggo Sport believe that this is the case. I'm kind of behind this as well. It will be great to see. But as this quirky season starts, it really is a lot of people's ball games. And that's not just Mercedes, Ferrari and Red Bull. Let us know in the comment section below. But Red Bull definitely have a better chance this year than they did next year or last year. This is a good chance for them to get back to winning ways like they were with Sebastian and in the early 2000s. After talk left, right and centre of tracks being cancelled, it's nice to get some good news now and then. Three of the most popular tracks in Europe, the Hungara Ring, Monza and Spa, have all had some great news as they extend one more year from their contract to make up the account of the lost revenue from Formula 1 due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The Italian, Hungarian and Belgian Grand Prix have all had their deals extended by one year, allowing them to recoup their ticket loss sales from this year's race. This will keep Monza on the calendar until 2025, the Circuit de Spa Francorchamps until 2022, and the Hungara Ring until a massive 2027. Now this is great for the new tracks. Certain tracks have really, really struggled this year, including the Monaco Grand Prix, which has been outright cancelled. Even the Circuit de Zandvoort, the Dutch Grand Prix, has struggled, and the British Grand Prix from their loss of revenue. Now, even though Formula 1 is going back to the British Grand Prix two times and other tracks, including those three that I've just mentioned, the Hungara Ring, Monza and Spa, there is still going to pocket less money from the loss of ticket sales. From what the tracks actually make, it's a lot more than what actual Formula 1 provide in terms of what they make for their revenue. But it is great news to hear that those three tracks will have their contracts extended due to this pandemic. Now hopefully we'll see other tracks being extended for the future. Also, we need to see more help from Formula 1 for these tracks that are struggling. But the Hangar Ring is a massive one that stands out. We thought this was a track that was in trouble of being dropped from the calendar, but it looks like Formula 1 is going to save it, and this new news of extending their contract is definitely helped with that. But one track that does need a lot of help is the Circuit de Catalunya Barcelona of the Spanish Grand Prix. Now, this is being rescheduled for the summer, but only one race at the track. This is also used for pre-season testing, so they had their money there from the previous eight days of 2020 when Formula 1 were there. But also the Formula 1 money for the track race in Barcelona in the summer will help, but again the loss of ticket revenue will definitely hinder going back to the track. Also, the Certa de Barcelona Catalunya has been under the cusp for getting removed from the calendar for the last few years, so hopefully we would like to see this one stay. It is good news for the previous three tracks I've just mentioned there. Hopefully more help will be out there for other tracks in the future. But it is great news to hear and we are now finally turning a corner. Formula 1 is back and all of the talk about tracks being cancelled and postponed. We are now getting some positive news. And those three tracks of course including Monza and Spa, two of the four of the oldest tracks in Europe, is amazing news for Formula 1 going forward. We'll be seeing more of them in the future and some great racing and hopefully they will be able to recoup what they've lost this year for the next years for the contract extension. Daniel Ricciardo's future has been secured for the 2021 season. He will be moving to the walking based team of McLaren, replacing the outgoing Carlos Sainz, who will be promoted up to Scuderia Ferrari and partner in Charles Leclerc at the Scarlet Red team. Danny Rick's future at McLaren is looking promising, partnering Lando and Norris and moving to a team that is on the rise after a successful 2019 season and seeing the team getting their first podium in over 2,072 days since Kev Magnussen did it in Australia 2014. A podium with Carlos Sainz in Interlagos 2019 was enough to show the team and the Renault power unit that they were using that they were a team that was on the rise back to the front like they were less than a decade ago. Danny Rick's future with Renault has been a shaky one. He left Red Bull Racing at the end of the 2018 season to move to the French team, partnering Nico Hulkenberg. After a successful 2018 season with Renault, he was hoping that the team would be a strong partnership and it would get him race, wins and podiums like he did at Red Bull. But it hasn't played out like that. And Danny Ricciardo spent the full year of 2019 not going to the podium for a race win or anything special like that. Things that he would have got at Red Bull Racing were seem absent at Renault. He left Red Bull in 2018 because of the power unit. 
He believed that the Honda Power unit for Red Bull, as we see we move into in 2019, wouldn't be good enough, and he saw a good partnership and a good future ahead of him with Renault. Ultimately, it might have been that he didn't want to work with Max Verstappen, but it was mainly about the engine deal, and of course he thought that a better future was ahead for Renault. One move has been ruled out that he will go to McLaren in 2021. His season is secure, and Daniel Ricciardo looks like that is going to be his prominent team. But one more option is still on the table for the next year, 2022, if McLaren doesn't work out. Now, drivers returning to teams is something that we don't see much of in Formula 1. But this one might be something that he and the team will be considering. And that, of course, is for the Honey Badger to move back to the Austria team of Red Bull Racing. Now, Red Bull would be open to the fact to discuss a move back with Daniel Ricciardo, because Daniel and Max, the partnership, was a pretty good one. The Australian talked to Sky Sports News and said that he hasn't ruled out the fact of moving back to Red Bull Racing, but the team that Max Verstappen and Alexander Albon are contracted at. Max is contracted until 2023, but Alex is only contracted to the end of this year, 2020. So that means whatever happens in 2021, if Danny Rick wants to move back, there is a possibility that he might be taking the second seat alongside Max like he previously had, and Alexander Albon will be moved out of the team for Danny Ricciardo. He said, quote, to Australia Sky Sports News, I haven't really been asked that one, the possibility of moving back to Red Bull, but I would never rule out going back to Red Bull. I think something I've learned growing up in life is to never say never. It might be a never say never attitude for Daniel Ricciardo. He might have to admit that he was wrong in the move. And one thing is for sure, that if he did move back, the team would see more loyalty in Max Verstappen and see that Daniel Ricciardo left the team for a better future and something that he hasn't achieved to come back to the team he might be branded as a second place driver and he might have lost a bit of loyalty and respect in the team. Dan Ricciardo hasn't maximised his chances of winning since 2018 since he left the team. Moving back to Red Bull might be his best chance to win again and possibly even go for the World Championship but one thing is for sure that the team would solely focus on Max even more so than they did back in 2018 if that was the case and Red Bull would lose respect for the Honey Badger after he left the team to then return. And that is the end of F1 24-7 News. Thank you very much for listening, everybody. Formula 1 is back in less than a month's time, and we all just can't wait. It will be absolutely amazing to start in Austria. It is a strange season, and as said at the start for Max Verstappen, it is open to a lot of other people. With this quirky season that we have starting late and a lot of things mismatched, it might be a better chance than not just a conventional Mercedes win like we've seen in the past few years, but we'll have to see what happens with that. If you haven't already, please check out our channel and check out our other content that we have. We have a racing day to come up. Even in the few weeks leading up to that, we have some good content and, of course, our race reviews, previews and much more for the 2020 Formula 1 season. If you do like this episode, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much for being with us with the F1 Debate Show. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.